that's the piston there I'll try to do the long nose if I can spin it yeah you can spin it now see it's spinning now yeah see it's spin the piston hello guys welcome to Oliver the mechanic and today's episode we have an interesting episode again today because we're gonna replace uh, rear brake pads of uh, Mitsubishi ASX that's the part number for the rear brake pads uh, rear brake pads of this one is quite different because it's not like a push piston type it's uh you're gonna turn around you're gonna use a special tools for this one like this yep I will show you later uh, before I'm gonna start this video I uh, will shout out first to Kuya Ryan Kuya Ryan Dios for always coming back on me for trusting me thanks Kuya Ryan and uh, before we're gonna start this video Hit the intro first. Intro. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Okay, before we're gonna start as a brake job, we're gonna open this one first, always. Yep, to release the pressure there inside. If you press the caliper, the one there, we're good. And also, uh, we're gonna release the handbrake. Yeah, it's already released. Okay, now you can see the rear brakes. I think uh, modern car use this uh, technique. I think this, this kind of brake is like two in one. Two in one, what I mean by two in one, because this one, if you press the brake here, the fluid here, it will, the rear brake will activate, like it will press the piston, if you press the brake, and then when you uh, pull the handbrake, this one also the cable, pull this one here, like this, going down. So it will activate also the handbrake. So you're just two in one, two in one type brake because the handbrake is here, the cable, and the uh, rear brake fluid is here. So yeah, uh, it's like uh, two in one brakes uh, because other brakes is a different, the handbrake is different. Sometimes the cable is here. Sometimes the cable is here, put it here, and there's a brake shoe inside. Uh, it's a separate one, separate the handbrake shoe and separate the rear brakes. But this one is like a two-in-one. Uh, the handbrake cable, the handbrake is here. If you pull the handbrake, it will pull this one and it will uh, handbrake. It will press the piston. And when you press the rear brakes also here, the fluid, it will press also the rear brakes and it will break also. So it's like two-in-one, two-in-one type. Uh, you can determine this one. Uh, if it's a uh, two-in-one brake, if you can see the cable here at the back of the piston, you see this the caliper. You can look at the bottom, you see here. You can look at the bottom of your car and if you can see the cable here, this one, like a uh, uh, cable near here, the rear of the piston, that means it's like two-in-one. There's no handbrake shoe on this type. Yep. You can see, yep. Uh, the one with the handbrake shoe, it's, uh, there's no cable here and we can see also the piston later if we open it and you can see you can check also my video I have a handbrake like a, a Camry I think Camry handbrake I replace it that one is a different type also I will put a link upstairs so you can see the difference of the two type of brakes this one is used on the modern car it's common now on modern car it's only one so it's like it's like you can see more because only uh, you will replace the brake pads, not the handbrake shoe. You're yeah. inside the drum. Uh, yeah, it's all you can save money. And yeah, and now we will try to open this one by uh, removing this one, the two caliper bolt here and this one here. 14 mil, and then it will, this one will pop up. Okay. Okay, our brake pad is quite thin already. There you go, it's like 30% left. Yep, it's nearly hit, hitting the indicator there. Okay. And also you can determine this two-in-one type of brake. If you can check the, if you can see the piston, you see the piston? It's a different type, it's like a, it's a solid one, solid piston. Not like uh, uh, other piston. This one, the other piston is like hollow, but this one is a solid type. That's a that's also the difference of the two-in-one 
yeah, we can say two in one brakes. Yep. Okay. That, that one is a solid one. So yeah, this is the sample of a hollow piston. See? That's the one. If it's hollow, it means that uh, it's not like a two in one uh, brakes. But if it's like solid one, the one that we're gonna do, yeah, that one is a two in one. Okay. That's a sample of a hollow piston. Okay, this is the fun part. Uh, you can see that's our piston. Uh, we're gonna turn that one clockwise. This one going to the right. And sometimes we can use a long nose, this one. If you don't have a special tools, sometimes it's, you can uh, spin this one, but sometimes it's quite hard. We'll try this one. See this one, there's a groove there inside. We can put our long nose here, like that. And then we can turn it clockwise. Yeah, it's quite heavy. Yeah, it's quite hard. Yeah, sometimes you can, you cannot get out on this one. You need a special tools. Okay, so we cannot remove that one by using a long nose. It's quite hard, it's too difficult. We're gonna use a, sp gonna use a special tools, this one. That's how it looks. It's a little bit old, but yeah, it works. So yeah, uh, yeah, that's the purpose of this one. You know, instead of the long nose tip there, you're gonna put this one on the piston there, and you can spin it. Okay, you can put this one here, plate. So put like this one here. Yep. So we can put this one on the caliper here, a caliper there, and yeah, you can spin this one like this. So the piston will spin also and it will push going backward yeah that's that's the purpose of this one and there's lots of adapter see different car modern car use this one already there's like three three tongs there and yeah lucky this one we can use this one the the built-in thing on the special tools we will not we don't need an adapter like that this one is fit already on in the the hole there. Okay, we're gonna use this one. Okay, we're gonna put that one inside there. The two uh, two pointed there. We're gonna put it also in the piston there, like that. You see, even special tools quite hard, especially long nose. Yeah, yeah, it's been already. There you go. There you go. Spin this one again. Yep, to the right. I think I will try to do that. So, to demonstrate, I will try to uh, do a long nose. If I can spin now, because I think the the it's quite hard on the like on the first turn. But if it's turned already, it's not hard already. It's not hard anymore. So we'll try the long nose. This one camera I can see it just zoom it up a little bit yep that's the piston there I'll try to do the long nose if I can spin it yeah you can spin it now see it's spinning now yeah see it spin the piston hopefully you can see it there you go yeah, I think uh, the, the hard one is on the first turn, uh, the first couple of spin. But if it's spin already, the piston, it's, yeah, it's all the way through already. See that one? Yeah, until the piston is go, until the piston stop. This one is still spinning. Camera. 
and seal. Yeah, yeah this stone is quite hard already. So it means so good. Try one more. If I can set that six minutes. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay. Now we're good. The piston is already in. Now we can put our new pads. Okay, here's our new pads. And we're gonna remove just the old pads. We're gonna remove the plate here. Yep. We're gonna transfer it on the new pads here. But before we can transfer that one, we're gonna put some grease first here. Good. Side also here. Good. Good. Okay, now just remember this one at the back, there's a sensor. See, that's a sensor. This one is at the bottom, at the bottom of the rotor disc. And just, yeah, this one also, the brake, the asbestos, that's one that hit the, hit the rotor disc, the, the rotor disc there. That's the one. Don't, not the metal one, because you can, ah, you cannot opposite this one but the front one you can you can reverse it let's take note this is the one that goes to the rotor this see that one with a cut there okay i'm gonna put this one in the back now Caliper here, bring it back. Yeah, it's fit already. Just, just take note, there's a guide here. Put the guide here, like that. The bottom also, yeah, there's a guide there. Okay. Hey. Before we're gonna drive the car, uh, like always, uh, press the brake first a couple of times. That's the brake pedal there. Times one, three, four, five. Yep. Like, press the brake a couple of times before you drive this one because the piston is quite far on the brake disc. So, yeah, just pump a little bit. Handbrake also. Handbrake. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make.